Okay, so we are done with the new layer. Now, let's proceed to the new topic that is about all the layers. Okay, I'm going to open some of my Photoshop project and I will tell you that you are really going to be shocked. <laughs> You're going to be really, really shocked with all the layers that you need to create when you are working on your lighting design on using Photoshop. Okay, so let's go and open some of my files now. Okay, so I opened a lot of files already. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with this one and this is um, a, a landscape lighting project and you can see I only have few layers here and if I'm going to close some of the layers, the original file is like this. So the client sent us a 3D rendered image with, um, with lights already but we're going to propose our fittings to make this one a little more uh, better. If this looks better to you, then it's okay. But the client says, can you suggest something better on this lighting design project? And this is what we suggested. So I just make it, I just made it um, black and white first. And then this is our suggestion to put luminaires on the palm tree. The complaint of the client actually is, they said that uh, the project is, the actual situation is really, really dark. Because this one is a 3D rendered image and the actual situation is totally dark so they want to add more lights on this um, landscape design so this is what i did i make it black and white first later on i will teach you how to make this one black and white and then i suggested some luminaires on the top of the tree or on the palm tree and then to put some uh, hyperated submersible uh, LED tube on the, the edge of the swimming pool and then um, guide light because there's already one here uh, but uh, we are proposing to add more to make it more safer actually my, we are planning to add more on the side not just on the corner and then there's another one here which is of course on the gazebo we added suspended if you can see there's a glowing uh, glowing balls there okay here in the front yeah and uh, yeah we added this one to make this gazebo more brighter in actual and of course the string <laughs> of that pendant light yeah so this is how we do we suggested some fittings and then if the client says how did you know that it's going to be bright in the actual then uh, we will run a simple simulation using dialux evo or other software all right next okay i'm just pressing f so this one, this one is rendered in Dialux, but because uh, Dialux is not powerful enough to create a glowing effect, so I just captured the Dialux rendered file and then I uh, edited this glowing effect on uh, Photoshop. And actually you can increase the glow more if you like. Later on I will teach you how to do that. See it's, yeah, it's more glowy if you like like that okay so yeah i edited the dialux evil rendered file and this one this is a sample interior like what i mentioned uh, in my previous topic in our previous topic that uh, photoshop lighting design is only applicable for um landscape facade and some interior design so like for example this one this is an actual photo and uh oh sorry this is the actual photo and the client said uh, they want to put to add more down lights and um, yeah so I need to remove those glare on that yeah because they're planning to remove that so I need to remove it in there and then add down lights on the edge of the staircase instead on the stairs okay you can see those down down lights now is in the perimeter of the opening of the staircase this is our suggestion actually okay this is the exist our existing project and we're the client says we're just the client said that they're just going to add more uh down lights there okay next um okay so this is the this this file is still on the sketch up file still under the conceptual uh, stage or design phase so we are suggesting the luminaires in this uh, religious building 
and you can see those yeah and all of them are yeah you can see all of those lights are really put it there together to make this place more glowing in the night yep and this is the actual photo from the client and for you to present the lighting design concept to the client you need to make it not so colorful so remove the color make it dark like that evening evening view and then to make to remove the harsh vivid color make it black and white and then you can start adding your suggested luminaire oops that is okay that is the option for putting the luminaires on the top a linear floodlight or at the bottom so it depends on the concept so if they like to put it on the top then this is this is the probable effect it will be mounted on the canopy of the roof and if it's from the bottom then it will be mounted on every uh, spacing of that column and then yeah so there's an app light there to highlight those decorative things and then of course staircase light yeah to make it glowing effect you see those staircase looking good and of course a patwalk light on that balcony area and of course some again bollards on the patwalk and if the bollard is not enough then we can suggest a post lamp and then of course the security light mounted on the wall and that's it so that's how easy it is to do it in photoshop actually and it's so powerful to do the presentation it's very fast but be careful in selecting uh in selecting the luminaires because it might be overlit but because they have mentioned that they want to highlight this decorative uh, roof canopy here and they want to make the building more brighter in the night then yeah you can overlit for a while and then you can just reduce or remove something if it's too bright in actual or in the simulation or in or you can also check that one if there's a mock-up okay next so I have so many things here and yeah there are also some interior here and this one the problem for this one is I just need to make this one diffused effect because the actual picture is yeah this is the actual photo and the client said we don't uh, they don't like this uh, fluorescent lamp inside the glass so we suggested so I created this one, this little uh, picture here on the side. Yeah, this one. So I created that one. And then I draw on where to put the LED strip. And this is the size. And you can see all those. Yeah, those are Photoshop. And um, I mentioned that if we follow this LED strip inside the glass, the effect will be like this. Uh, sorry, like, like this. So it will be a diffuse color. And if they want more... Uh, uniform light then uh, we need to adjust the LED strip a, bit, a brighter LED strip so either the effect will be like this a little darker darker in the middle or um, like this like an even illumination on the glass if actually I'm thinking if the, the glass is totally diffused then uh, yes we will create this one but it seems that it's not really a diffuse a totally diffused uh, glass type I think it's um, more or less 60% um, transparency only so I think in my opinion it will be only like like this okay so this is some some interior uh, that we do in Photoshop okay and what else so some buildings this one the one I showed you look at this one because look I only have uh, this is the actual photo from the client. This is the daytime view. Again, you need to make it dark, make it black and white, put this L, uh, LED tube, and this one, and this one, and this one, yeah, and everything, and then make your own, make the concept. And once you do that, you know, realize what are the fittings to be used, and then you can create some um, renderings much better, like like this one okay all right next uh, what else do we have here so another one this is an airport 
and again the file is from SketchUp only so the, they are planning to put some luminaires actually this is the conceptual comment from the client so they want to put lights on the skylight because during daytime there will be light coming from the skylights so it's good but during night time nothing is there already so they want to put some light to make it like uh, there will be light again coming from that even if it's during night time so what I did this is the only picture they have so what I did I made it like black and white again of course make it darker and then add this light I'm planning to put an LED floodlight here perimeter of the opening it will be either blue color or RGB or um, yeah it depends if they prefer to use uh, blue color so it will mimic the moonlight bluish moon, moonlight or if they want they can go for uh, just plain white and then additional down light because I'm sure it will be dark because in the actual if you can see nothing is there so because this is a sketchup file only so we suggested to add down light because this is a concourse uh, sorry security control area of the airport and of course those uh, barisol on this uh, check-in counter area so these are only photoshopped and this is the way we submit our initial design so if the client says can you please run a simulation for this one because we want to check if really the last level has been achieved then uh, yes we can do that but for the meantime this is our concept all right so what else again this is the same airport and then again i suggested those uh, lines of light i did not continue it here because it's just a typical line of lights towards to that area so simple simulations showing the client uh, your proposed lighting design okay i will teach you i'm just showing you now the layers and there you can see there are so many layers here now and you can just turn off turn on all of this another sample design for the facade so this is just a simple building and if you want to see the original 3d rendered file so it will be look like this amazing right and again you need to make it dark first the background the sky will be darker make it black and white if you like then add your lighting design concept one by one and yeah you can run like this very easy and then of course while you're doing this you need to imagine what kind of fitting to be used in every suggested light okay and of course this is the ferrari maserata and it's it's only a few uh this is just a simple concept but you can see i have so many layers here see look at those layers <laughs> yeah okay that's why it's very important again see i labeled the layers like ld strip led flex and uh, bl mesh blue for example and some Maser maserati and ferrari logos there okay later on i will teach you how you will do that and this is a uh, entrance again i created a group and again in this layer there are so many things in here and you can turn off turn off and if you want to see the original uh, picture of this one yeah we can do that and turn off all those layers one by one there you go so this is the original picture from the client and we are going to make it night view and using photoshop to do the rendering for this project yeah so i have so many unused layers also which i just use for a guide and yeah and this is how you will do it and then you can turn off turn on some layers which is of course just a conceptual like this one all right this video now is very long i'm just showing you the layers and what else do we have here so this is one sample i think this is a warehouse a bakery warehouse and yeah very easy to do and if you want to see the original file for this one it's let's turn off the sky yes so this is the original file from the client and uh, this is what we suggested of course we need to make the sky even our floodlight i put it there the 3d view of the floodlight and one by one you can see how amazing 
the presentation will be and you can do the presentation using PowerPoint to become like a transition or GIF animation which later I will teach you how I do it okay so that's it and um, I hope you inspired with this project and now you know that layering or creating new layers is very important and labeling also the layers is also important okay so see you again on the next uh, lecture which is about levels.